and why chakra diagnosis comes into play is that each of these chakras they have a very specific personality so to speak or right. they influence or govern very different areas of our life wow. so if the energy is not flowing in a certain chakra let's say for example the first chakra the root yeah. chakra then that would mean that that person may be experiencing perhaps blocks or patterns in very physical areas of life like it could be relationships or it could be their finances it could be that things just don't happen very easily for them there could be trust issues so in this way each of the different chakras the seven major chakras they have a very specific identity and learning diagnosing them would then allow you to understand where the blocks are what kind of gaps are going on in your life yeah. and how you can align those blocks to uh, opening up with what you consciously want in your life